Oh yeah, dude. Y'all thought we were out of event season. You were wrong, okay? All right, get excited. We've got the Guilds and Glory Celebration event coming up. Yeah, that hurts. That's really good, but that hurts a lot. Okay, so they just posted this article um, the day that this is being recorded on January 11th, 2024. So I just kind of wanted to go through it, give you all some pointers, some tips, and just kind of discuss some exciting new stuff coming with this new event, as far as I know. Seems very, very cool. Looks like we're gonna be visiting maybe Rothgar, um, Dark Brotherhood, and Thieves Guild. Looks pretty awesome. It says, find adventure and excitement within Rothgar, Hughesbane, the Gold Coast, and the Imperial City. So it looks like you PvP folks are going to be able to get some stuff too. That's fantastic. During the new Guilds and Glory Celebration in-game event, rediscover classic adventures. The Guilds and Glory Celebration begins Thursday, January 18th at 10 a.m. EST. Literally, God, dude, next Thursday is going to be fucking sick. We have this event starting, and then we've also got um the the global reveal like oh my god like that's freaking nuts um anyways it's gonna run until tuesday january 30th so that's pretty much on par with what we can expect pretty much all the events run for about 12 days um so there you go throughout the event as you quest an adventure within rothgar hughesbane the gold coast and the imperial city you'll earn an assortment of bonus goodies including reward boxes and event tickets um number one Rothgar is still, I think, story-wise, um, and honestly, zone-wise, I think it's the GOAT. I think it's up there. I think it's, it may not be the GOAT, but it's definitely top three. I think that, Western Skyrim for me, and then Somerset were freaking nuts. I think the story of Necron was incredible, but man, I love Rothgar, and I'm still salty that Hughes Bane and Gold Coast, like the Dark Brother and Thieves Guild, they should have just made that like a chapter, dude. I would have eaten that shit up. I love the Dark Brotherhood. And I wish that that was a way that we could actually make money in the game. Like, imagine if you literally could be an assassin or a thief and just do that all day to make your money. Like, literally go on assassination contracts, really spike up the immersion where you have to go around talking to different NPCs and you don't point us towards it. Like, we just have to go up to random people in the town and figure it out for ourselves. Like, that would be so fun. I would love that shit, dude. Okay. Anyways, let's get on with it. These bonus rewards include double reward boxes earned during daily quests in Rothgar, Hughesbane, the Gold Coast, and Imperial City, as well as Ma of Lorcage weekly quests. So that's good. So looks like we're going to be farming a whole bunch of Ma of Lorcage and just maxing out that sticker book. I think that's a good time to do that for sure. And then if you're missing any of the any of the stuff in Dark Brotherhood, like the Minotaur style. Um, you can go do that get double chances at doing that. That's fantastic. That's one of the cool styles in the game um, You'll also get double reward boxes through the heists in Thieves Guild and the sacraments for Dark Brotherhood Increased resource node drops. So it looks like I will be farming a crap ton of Resources um, this is okay. This is literally what I do every single time y'all gotta do this when you get double resources, you don't understand like how much stuff you can gather up. This is why I'm able to do so many freaking sealed alchemy writs during these double XP events because I just stack them up beyond belief during stuff like this. Like you have to get on it. Um, okay, this does not include fishing holes or crafting materials obtained from animals. Okay, um, additional loot from world bosses in Rothgar, Hughesbane and the Gold Coast, as well as Delve Bosses and Public Dungeon Bosses, so you can finish up your sticker book and stuff for those Overland Zones. That's cool. You get additional loot from Sweepers and Cold Harbor Elite Guard inside the Imperial City and Imperial Sewers, as well as Bosses in the Mav Lorcaz. Yeah, like I said, like I'll be, I'll be farming Mav Lorcaz 100%. Um, you get additional loot from Bosses in Maelstrom Arena. Okay. Looks like I actually need to be farming some Maelstrom and knocking that out. That'll be really nice just to do that and knock everything out during this event. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, to participate in each or every aspect of this new event, you'll need access to the Orsinium DLC, the Thieves Guild DLC, and the Dark Brotherhood DLC. I'm pretty sure Orsinium is base game, is it not? I mean, Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood's not, but I'm pretty sure Orsinium and Imperial City is. Am I on crack? I could be totally wrong. Okay. Anyways, claim glory and rewards. During the Guilds and Glory celebration, you'll, you can earn the glorious reward boxes once per day. That's the gold box. 
by um, completing the first daily quests in Rothgar, Hughesbane, or the Gold Coast, or by finishing the Mav Lorcage weekly quest. In these reward boxes, you can get crafting materials, um, sellable treasures, a style item, ancient orc, Malakath, or Trinimac. Okay. Okay, basically just like the motifs from there. The overland item sets, companion gear. Whoopee. Oh, dude, this is sick. Look at this, man. Oh, my God. This, this style is awesome. I like this a lot, dude. Holy crap. Looks really good on an orc, too, without a helmet. Oh, dude, that's sick. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting all of that. No doubt about that, dude. Okay, so you can basically get all the motif chapters for those zones. Get this sick-ass style. What is this called? What is this? They not tell us? Okay, well, I'm sure we'll learn. Anyways, you get all this other stuff. Um, oh, the Bristleback Hunter outfit style page. Very cool, very cool. Okay, and then it's just like little pictures of you stealing or assassinating people. Um, you can also receive like the, the purple boxes by looting the final boss in ICP, White Gold Tower, and Maelstrom. Um, you can get style items for all this stuff. Very cool. Order of the Hour is pretty expensive, as is Minotaur. So those are good things to collect, hands down. Um, and then it's just basically kind of repeating all of this stuff. <laughs> um... Well, very cool. That looks good. So we're going to be able, I assume, to start getting the fragments for the new Molag Ball pet, right? Cool. Let's pop down here. Let's pop down here. Okay. Additionally, you can collect further regular reward boxes by participating in the following activities, like slaying world bosses in Rothgar, Hughes Bane, or the Gold Coast, defeating the final boss in Imperial City Prison, White Gold Tower, or Maelstrom Arena. Um, all of that stuff has incredible things. First of all, the story in Rothgar, Hughes, Bane, and Gold Coast is incredible. Highly recommend it. Second of all, ICP, White Gold Tower, and Maelstrom has incredible gear in it. White Gold Tower has got incredible stuff like Spell Power Cure. That's one of the best in slot healer sets that I highly recommend you get. Um, it's also got scathing. I'm pretty sure it's scathing. No, it's not. It's, um, uh, what is it? the essence thief and imperium i believe and then imperial city prison has leeching that's a really good selfish tank set um that i highly recommend you getting there's a lot the point is even if i'm getting these mixed up those two dungeons are really really fun they're they've got incredible loot in them and then obviously i think everybody knows about maelstrom it's a single player arena just run it on normal and you can farm out the gear twice as fast because you're going to get double drops i mean that's freaking awesome um you can also get these boxes from safe boxes, barrels, crates, sigic portals, and the resource nodes. So this is what I do during every zone event. I go get my gold box. If I need to fill out any of the, you know, the sticker book or anything like Maelstrom, like I'll go finish out the sticker book. Same with Mav Lorcage. But after that, I am there farming resource nodes nonstop because you can get the regular purple reward boxes from the resource nodes. So not only are you just farming the living shit out of these um, out of these resource nodes, but you're also getting these reward boxes, getting a bunch of motif pages and more resources um, and making a whole bunch of money. You don't even have to have them ready like I like to have them for the sealed alchemy writ so I can power level my stuff. Um, you can literally just sell all the all the materials you get. It's it's a fantastic event, and this is something that I'm I'm definitely a lot more excited about. Like I like you know New Life Festival is a lot of fun. I like the whole Christmas theme. It's cool, but doing those same twelve dailies over and over and over again gets kind of. Um, I think it needs to be modernized a little bit. I already made a video about it recently, saying that I think we need to update the holiday events, but. You know, when you come to zone events like this, especially if there's a raid or trial, dungeons associated, anything where I can progress like my sticker book or get double resources or motifs and make a bunch of gold so I can buy the sealed alchemy writs, um, this is it. And this is the kind of stuff I get really, really excited for. All right, let's hop into the impresario and event tickets. Of course, we can't forget about those precious event tickets. During the Guilds in Glory celebration, you will receive two event tickets for the first of the following activities completed each day. So two come from this, all right? So Daily Delve and World Boss Quest in Rothgar, Daily Delve, World Boss and Thieves Guild Quest in Hughesbane, basically a bunch of quests, the trial quests, killing certain people in Imperial City, doing the final boss of Maelstrom or the dungeons. By the end of the event, 
you could have earned an impressive 26 tickets total, but keep in mind you can only carry 12 tickets at a time. To help you lighten the load, here's what the impresario has in stock during the event. All three Molag Ball Illusion Imp Pet. This guy, dude, the freaking ankle biter. <laughs> I still think this guy is funny as shit. I hope he's very menacing and has really, really funny voice lines the entire time. But if he's just like following you around and he's not threatening my life the entire time, I'm going to be depressed. I'm going to be depressed. And then you get the first plane melds master marking fragment. So that's the um, that's the body marking. I'm going to skip that, honestly, and just save my event tickets. I'll be excited to get probably the next event stuff. But again, I, made a vi I literally just made a video about this yesterday. I, for one, this is a personal thing. I appreciate rewards and stuff at all. Um, Cause you know, that's a, that's a hot topic in ESO is reward structure. Um, I, I think body markings and head markings are terrible rewards. Um, I wish it was a skin. I wish it was a mount, a house, something like that. Personalities are cool. Costumes are cool. But I don't know many people that really enjoy body markings. Um, and especially for this being like, you know, like the 10 year anniversary and stuff. I was expecting a little bit more, but you know, that's okay. You can also get the Stonefire Scamp Pet Soul Shriven Skin some group repair kits, and then the Companion Guild commendations. Um, so yeah, so I'll be spending them getting the Molag Ball Illusion and Pet Fragments, and then I'll probably head over and finish out the Bristleback Hunter outfit style if I'm not able to get that somehow. Yeah, like so this is the body markings. Again, like this is one of those things that should just be like a base game, like thing that you get at the character creation screen like this is nothing like i don't see this and i'm like oh god i can't wait to log in every day and grind out this event so that i can get these body markings like it's just not it's not that cool so look at these these are the ones we can earn and then on the right of the screen you saw the crown store stuff look at those the meridian sunburst body tattoos those are really cool but you have to buy those so it would be a little bit different if you had added in some cool glowy body markings that almost kind of come off like a skin. A lot of people were asking me about this when I actually released my Templar tank video. Those are really cool, but you have to buy those. You know, it'd be nice if we were a little bit more imaginative. I was expecting something along the lines of this blue cold harbor flame, like this blue flame. If you add body markings like that, like if the this exact body marking, instead of it just being gray or black, was the color of blue flame like that, that would have been sick. And that would have been a much more thematic option. These are just very unimaginative and it's kind of like one of the interns at the office made this, honestly. That's what it comes off like. Anyways, you can also go to the Endrick vendor if you want to do that. Um, cool, greatness waits for nobody. Go over there, get excited. Thursday, January 18th at 10 a.m. I'm super pumped. I'm sure y'all are too. Events are always a good thing. Definitely good to give us lots of reasons to you know hop into the game and for me, zone events are freaking it dude lots of money earned lots of resources in the bank i'm freaking ready sticker book getting completed i'm hype i'm hype thank you guys for watching really appreciate it we'll see you in the next one peace